Welcome to the SAP Organizational Structure video. If you really want to learn SAP, you will have to master SAP Organizational Structure. Once you fully understand SAP Organizational Structure, you will go miles and everything will become so easy for you. So let me help you get there. Let's begin. SAP Enterprise Structure is organizational structure that represents an enterprise in SAP R3 system. It consists of some organizational units which, for legal reasons or for other specific business-related reasons, are grouped together. These organizational units may be assigned to a single module, such as a sales organization assigned to a sales and distribution, or SD module, or even to several modules, such as a plant assigned to materials management and production planning modules. Each user department in SAP terminology is referred to as a module, such as financial accounting, or FI, controlling, or CO, asset management, or AM, project system, or PS, sales and distribution, or SD, materials management, or MM, production planning, or PP, quality management, or QM, plant maintenance, or PM, and so on. Organizational units for each module is either shared across all modules or they are unique to that particular module only. For example, purchasing group is MM organizational unit. It is not a shared organizational unit like a company code. Now that you have some understanding of SAP organizational units and modules, let's take our knowledge to the next level and discuss SAP organizational units in more detail. Every organization has some framework or structure defined according to which the whole business runs. Enterprise structure is the structure that represents an enterprise in SAP ERP system. It is subdivided into various organizational units which, for legal reasons or business-related reasons, are grouped together. Enterprise structure defines various levels in an organization. These levels are placed according to some hierarchy. Each level has some specific functionality associated with it, which, in a combined way, describes the workings of an organization. Also, enterprise structure defines various organizational units that are present in an enterprise. Some of the major SAP organizational levels are Client, Controlling Area, Company Code, Sales Organization, Division, Plants, Storage Locations, Purchase Organization, and Purchasing Group. It is very important to understand their hierarchy as well. Client is at the top hierarchy level within an organizational unit, followed by company code, plant, and etc. Now that we have known what SAP organizational levels are, let's understand these further, but this time we will go module by module to understand each organizational level. Let's start with Materials Master or MM module first. The organizational structure in MM consists of the following organizational levels. Client, Company Code, Plant, Storage Location, Purchase Organization, and Purchasing Group. If you take a look at these organizational levels, you will understand that they follow a logic. For example, you cannot have a storage location without a plant. Either it's a third-party warehouse or even virtual. Some plant will always have an ownership of stock in that particular storage location. Now let's understand what these organizational levels are one by one, starting with the client. Client. A client is a commercial organizational unit in SAP systems. It has its own set of master data with an independent table set. According to hierarchy, client is at the highest level in the SAP system. Data that is maintained at client level is valid for all organizational levels. Company code. Within client, Company code is the independent accounting unit. It is a legal entity that has its own profit and loss and balance sheets. It is the smallest unit in an organization for which a complete independent account set can be replicated. Plant. A plant is an organizational unit within a company where activities take place. A plant will produce goods and make goods available for the company. It is a unit having a manufacturing facility, warehouse distribution center, or regional sales office within logistic. It subdivides an enterprise in different aspects. Storage location. The storage location is an organizational unit which actually differentiates between different material stock in a plant. Storage location is a place where stock is kept physically. Plant can be consisting of multiple storage locations. All the data is stored at storage location level for a particular storage location. 
Purchase Organization Purchasing organization is an organizational unit under company or plant, which is responsible for procurement activities according to requirements. It is responsible for external procurement. Purchasing organization can be at a client level, for example, centralized purchasing organization. Purchasing organization can be at company or plant level, as in the company specific or plant specific. Purchasing group. Purchasing group is an organizational unit which is responsible for everyday procurement activities within an organization. It is a buyer or group of buyers responsible for procurement activities in a purchasing organization. Now that we have understood the organizational structures of SAP MM module, let's take a look at organizational levels of SAP FICO module. Operating concern. Operating concern is the main organizational unit of profitability analysis module, otherwise known as COPA. COPA acts are management tools to analyze specific markets and business segments. The operating concern configuration is client independent. Once it is created in one client, it will automatically have an impact on all clients. COPA holds the highest rank in SAP FICO enterprise structure. Controlling area. Controlling area in SAP enterprise structure is the central organizational unit within CO module and assigned to operating concern. It is an environment where internal reporting to the management is done by managing cost and revenue. The organizational unit in SAP Enterprise Structure represents a closed system used for cost accounting purposes. A controlling area may contain one or more company codes, which can operate in different currencies if required. The company code within a controlling area must use the same operational chart of accounts and fiscal year variant. Company Code Since I've already gone through the company code, I'm not going to explain what a company code in SAP means. Chart of Accounts Chart of Accounts is a variant created at the client level in the SAP FI module, which contains the structure and the basic information about general ledger accounts. After its creation, we assign Chart of Accounts to company codes in SAP Enterprise Structure. Information to be given in Chart of Accounts is Language Length of general ledger account number Manual or automatic creative cost elements Group Chart of Accounts And etc. Cost Center Cost Center is an organizational unit in controlling area representing a clearly delimited location where costs occur. One type of hierarchy needs to be created for the Cost Center account, where Cost Center should be assigned and also to be grouped for reporting purposes. Cost Centers are company code specific and assigned to company codes in an enterprise structure. Profit Center Profit centers are generally defined by the organization on the basis of responsibility. It will let you determine profits and losses by profit center using their period accounting or the cost of sales approach. Profit center is a management-oriented organizational unit. Balance sheet and profit and loss accounts can be obtained by using this profit center accounting. Charts of depreciation a chart of depreciation is the highest level organization structure in asset accounting, which hold the entire asset accounting relevant settings such as depreciation areas and the depreciation methods that are specific to a country. Since different companies in the same country are subject to the same legal regulation of fixed asset depreciation, a chart of depreciation is usually country specific and more than one company codes could be assigned to a single chart of depreciation. A depreciation area represents an independent depreciation book in which different values can be calculated in parallel for each fixed asset for different purposes. The depreciation terms and values of expected life necessary for calculating a fixed asset book and depreciation are all managed in depreciation area level. Now that we have understood the organizational structure of SAP FICO module, let's take a look at organizational levels of SAP SD module. SAP provides many components to complete SAP sales and distribution organizational structures like sales areas, distribution channels, divisions, and etc. The SAP SD organization structure majorly consists of two steps. One, creation of organization elements in SAP system. Second is to link each element as per requirement. In SD module, sales organization is at the highest level and is responsible for distribution of goods and services. SAP recommends to keep the number of sales organization in an organizational structure to be minimum. 
This will help in making the reporting process easy and ideally it should have a single sales organization. The next level is distribution channel, which tells the medium why the products and services are distributed by an organization to its end users. Division in an organizational structure, which represents a product or service line in a single organization. A sales area is known as entity, which is required to process an order in a company. It comprises of sales organization, distribution channel, and a division. In SAP SD organizational structure, each sales organization is assigned to a company code. Then the distribution channel and divisions are assigned to sales organizations and all of these comprise to make a sales area. Now that we have understood the organizational structure of SAP SD module, let's take a look at the organizational levels of SAP PP module. In SAP PP module, you don't have any mandatory organization structure to be maintained. Same MM organization structure like plant, storage location, and etc. would be used in PP module also. Now finally, let's take a look at organizational structure of SAP HR module, which is referred to as HCM or Human Capital Management modules. So why exactly do we need structures? Structures are required to represent statutory, regional, and organizational conditions in an organization. Allocation of employees to the structures is the first step for entering personal data. Allocations to structures also help to find out where does the employee work? Which position does the employee hold? How many hours in a period does the employee work? Which public holidays does an employee get? How is the employee paid? There are three types of structures in SAP. 1. Enterprise structure. 2. Personnel structure. And 3. Organizational structure. There are four main components of the enterprise structure in SAP system. 1. Client. 2. Company code. 3. Personnel area. And 4. Personnel sub area. Client and company code is something we now understand. Let's try to understand what personnel area and personnel sub area are. Personnel area. Personnel area represents a subdivision of the company code. For example, SAP Germany, SAP USA, SAP Canada, and SAP UK. It is identified by a four character alphanumeric code. A unique personnel area is assigned to each company code. Personnel area is used as a selection criteria and used in authorization checks. Personnel sub area. Personnel sub area represents a subdivision of a personnel area. For example, GE Chemicals Canada, GE Chemicals UK, and etc. It is identified by a four digit alphanumeric code. From an HR point of view, some important indicators set by the personnel sub area include groupings of pay scale area and pay scale type, public holiday calendar, appraisals, assigning of legal persons, values for basic pay grouping for wage types, and some tax-related corporate features. It is worth mentioning here that the company's regulations or human resource policies are defined at the personnel sub-area level. These regulations may be legal, contractual, or company-specific. Personnel structure displays position of individual people in the enterprise as a whole. It comprises of employee groups and employee subgroups, such as active, retired, contractual, and etc. This was an important topic, and we hope you have remembered SAP organizational structure per your corresponding module. Once you understand this and its hierarchy, it will be very easy for you to understand how SAP works. We hope to see you in the next topic.